Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name is Lumen and today we're having a look at Moonbreaker. And this is also not a traditional character creation video because we're not creating a traditional character. Moonbreaker is a turn-based strategy tabletop tactics game where you control miniatures on a virtual board. They are designing this to be a true digital miniature experience. And it's set in an expansive sci-fi universe that's been crafted by none other than Brandon Sanderson. I'm a massive fan. Uh, and because of that alone, because he's actually doing the characters, the world, the setting, all of that stuff, I'm intrigued. Now, this is still very much the kind of game that I would jump into and cover, mostly because there's a ton of cosmetic stuff in here. There's so much cool stuff to customize. We're gonna have a look at it in this video. We're gonna give it a peek. Now, I'm gonna focus on that first. So I'm gonna start by having a look at all the units available and the captains for those units. So the full collection, basically. Then we'll look at the painting mode. I'll show you a quick preview of what the law recordings look and sound like. We'll check the profile images out. Then we'll have a look at the game modes, the tutorials very briefly, the store that's in the game, the way they're monetizing it, the season pass, and a few other things along the way. So it's a pretty big video. And because of that, I'm going to tell you to check the timestamps out so you can skip to what you're looking for. So if you're looking for just the painting mode and you want to see how that works, just click the timestamp to jump to that or look in the little uh, slider bar below and you'll find it on there and you can just skip to it. Find what you're looking for, leave satisfied. That's all I ask of you. Right? All right. Perfect. The timestamps are always your friend. So we're going to start right now by jumping into the collection and I'm going to tell you that the game has captains. So you sort of put together a team, they call it a roster, you need to use one captain and then a bunch of units. Now I've got units here that I already unlocked, then there are ones that are unowned, and I'm going to say like right here at the start of the video, it's super quick to unlock these. You can probably play for about a half an hour and you'll unlock all of these units. It's not hidden behind a paywall or anything like that, they are locked behind a resource that you get by just playing the game. And it's super quick and easy, right? Super quick and easy. The rosters look like this. You get to actually make your own roster where you put the captain in and then all the units. And that's how it works, right? So there are currently three captains in the game. Uh, they are from two of the different cultures here. There are smugglers, Methodori and Cholik. We currently have two Methodori captains and one smugglers captain as far as I know. The captains are Astra, that's this lady right here, and when you open up any of these units in the collection manager here, you can see all the details about them, you can uh, sort of look at their lore, and I'm not sure if they're going to put the stats here eventually, but you should eventually, I suppose, be able to look at their stats. Uh, again, you can sort of see what she does for you and for the team, and then if you want to, you can jump into the painting mode over here, which we're going to cover in a separate section of the video, uh, and you can customize her entirely they don't hold you back in any way you can sort of make it look and and paint it in any way you like it's fantastic it's truly fantastic and then on top of that uh, you can see the entry animation for her how she comes into play and serious and how she gets destroyed right those are also customizable as far as i understand you can sort of pick those when you're making your roster so Astra is the first captain. The second one is Exterior. He's also Methodori. You can see him over there. Some information about him, some lore about him. And. My objective is my vow. The animations. I'm not going to look at every single one of them. I mean, I, I can check the entry animation so we can get sort of the like the voice lines from them basically, but it's it's slightly less important. Right, it's slightly less important. I think the final captain's name is Zax Jakar. He's a smuggler. He looks pretty cool. He looks pretty cool. That's him up there. Yep, it's all supernatural. There's his law. And again, no stats at the moment. I kind of like it. So those are your captains. They have special abilities and stuff here. And they are, I suppose you could say right now, at least the most important ones. I could claim two of these captains from the store when I jumped in for free. I don't know if that's because I got a founder's pack key. I don't know if that comes with a standard pack. I really don't know how it works. 
I'm not sure how the monetization is going to be set up. All I know is that for the most part, you can get everything in the game by just playing, right? So I'm not here to talk about that. I'm looking at the cosmetic side of things. I don't want to get into the whole uh, microtransaction in a paid game thing. That's just not my thing, okay? <laughs> we're here to look at the units. So now that you've seen the captains, we're going to jump into the regular ones. I'm going to show you what they look like. And I'm also going to tell you that you get different skins for them from things like booster packs. So, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. You can you can sort of find different paint jobs for them, right? And you can apply them. That's the Aegis Sentinel. That's pretty cool. Aria. Please don't make me mingle. Very nice. Astra, we had a look at. Beatrice. Super dude. Watch them scramble. Crankbait. Our hands on deck. I love how they do the miniatures. Like some of the details on here, it's 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 absolutely phenomenal. Like if you if you look at basically the way they set up with like the, the smoke coming out here and it it sort of been uh, sort of balanced on top of that and and all the little details and stuff that you yourself can customize and paint it's awesome it is so cool Got a lovely selection. and yeah i mean like in terms of of early access and in terms of sort of the way this works and and uh, how much there is in the game right now uh, it's super impressive we looked at this guy already max are so in Furia. She looks cool. Pain means I'm alive. Jailbreak. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have much to say jumping into it. Maximus. Ready for my close up. And yeah, each of them, as you may have seen, has a special ability and stuff here. I don't know much about the gameplay yet. Uh, I'm just here for the cosmetics right now. Keep in mind once again, I had a dream like this. if there's anything you'd like to change on any of these models, you can quite easily just jump in, take the original skin, change a couple of colors, make it your own. I, I really like it. The system is fantastic. This isn't a drill. Now the reason I'm going through here pretty quickly is because I feel like the more interesting part is actually the mini painting section so you can sort of like do much more with it like these ones are set up kind of nicely and if i'm being honest with you there isn't much need to change them if you don't want to like if you're here for the gameplay the professionals here also me you're here for the gameplay that's a little dude on another dude's back and that's perfectly fine you know that's cool you don't need to care about the cosmetics even a little bit Hook you up. That's sick. Oh, this one is not quite here yet. See, this is basically the, let's say, the template that you'll be given if you want to paint them yourself. They will wake soon. Evil doers will lose. You can definitely see a sort of trend or like a theme that a lot of the characters stick to like the armor styles uh, a lot of it sort of matches together and you can before even looking at the information tell which culture they're from i like that i like that you can tell that the smugglers they like to use the bugs the monsters this is one of the Cholek. The Cholek seem to be plant-type monsters. And then finally, Zax Jakar. We saw him already. Now we're going to go into the unowned ones. You can still look at those. Uh, and as I mentioned, these are super easy to unlock. Success is on the horizon! When I rise, they cower. That's super cool. Wow. I'm fired up. 
And you're gonna be too. <laughs> Fantastic. I, I am obviously sitting here thinking to myself, there must have been a lot of involvement from Brandon Sanderson ah, with the creation of, <laughs> of all these different monsters, these different characters, these different visual styles. Uh, because, I mean, it's all pretty complex. There'll be stains on the moon. Like, it's all fleshed out quite nicely. And you will see a little later in the video, if you want to skip to it right now, there are lore recordings that flesh everything out even more and tell some really interesting stories. This will be genius. In interesting ways as well. You'll see. You'll see. Remember the ammo, Amy? <laughs> That's so cool, man. I love it. Just like we practice. <laughs> they got a thing with minions in this. Like, there's a, a robot minion. There are these little guys. Like, people have their own helpers in this, and they are uh, plentiful, aren't they? That is super. Tona thrums inside us. future is waiting. Rejuvenation required. Fantastic. And you can mix and match these, as far as I understand. There's no cultural restriction on how you set your team up. However, there might be cultural boons. So if you use more of, of, of one type, or if you have certain units with... Uh, Let's just say uh, different buffs and debuffs and synergies. Then obviously they'll be on the same culture. We'll show those lazy bones. Where did that voice come from? Ah, the nap before battle. <laughs> Fantastic. It's their special day. She's got an arm out the back here. Oh, she's got four arms. Okay, that's kind of cool. Seems useful. The most show of hands, and the last one. There it is, kind of fantastic. So, as you can see, lots of detail on the models, a lot that you can customize, lots of finer points that you can sort of jump into and make your own. I think it's sick, I think it's super, super, super well done. And to take it all a step further, what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into the painting mode. I'm going to pick one, let's say, something like this. Okay, and I'll take switch back into the painting mode and I'll show you the different ways that you can make it your own. So as you jump in, you present it with this. It's sort of like the base template. Then what you can do is you can either create a brand new scheme. That's a brand new visual style. It'll blank it for you entirely and make it gray. Or you can duplicate this one and you can work on that. Now I'm going to start by showing you what it looks like when you duplicate and I want to start by showing you how easy it is to make things look a little cooler. But I'm also going to show you that it's not quite so easy to make it look like amazing because if you if you sort of look at it closely there's a lot of detail here and this is all sort of hand painted stuff. So now if you look as an example at this uh, grate here there's a lot of shading involved it's not just a solid color if you look at as an example down here on the smoke similar situation if you just make that all a solid color it's not going to look so great so this was painstakingly crafted the different skins and stuff you can get for these the different schemes that you can get for these they all look really good you know and then as you and this is just, as far as i understand upgrade these units you can upgrade them from say you know a a, a common all the way up to a legendary as you upgrade them you do it here they unlock different they say it here let me see if i can open it quickly rarity adds enhanced cosmetic elements so they 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 sort of get different bits and pieces that you can customize i'm sure that on like the legendary ones you'll get like a glow on it or something and i haven't been able to test that myself yet but basically you can take it a step further you can customize your favorites to be even cooler you know? So that's nice. It's, it's kind of a nice way of doing it. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to duplicate this scheme immediately and I'm going to show you how it works. They bring you 
this entire interface here that functions in a similar way to something like Photoshop, basically, and you can do whatever with it. First things first, you have a brush size on the side here, and there are different keys to use on the keyboard, like I can use the brackets here, I can make it bigger and smaller. Uh, you can see for this one, the color picker is Alt. It'll just allow you to, you hold Alt in, it's much like Photoshop, and you can sort of pick and select the color that you want. And then this is the opacity, so you can sort of, you know, make it uh, almost transparent or uh, fully opaque. Kind of cool, right? And I want to add right here at the start that you can also use a drawing tablet for this. I've even seen on the subreddit some people use their iPads to draw, which is also fantastic. Uh, you can connect whatever you want to your PC and use that instead of mouse and keyboard. For the purposes of this, I actually have a tablet right here, but for the purposes of this, I'm just going to use the mouse and keyboard so I can show you. I'm also going to say that it takes, uh, let's just say, uh, it's, it's a slightly defter touch. It takes a little bit more finesse to mix up and make the perfect colors because the way that they do the color mixing they don't give you the rgb uh, sort of spectrum to uh, to work with they actually have you mix the colors yourself in the color mixer down here which i think is amazing and it's educating <laughs> the hell out of everyone that's uh, using the system and I, I think it's cool uh, but it might just be a little difficult for some people to get into uh, down here you can toggle the ui you can show separate pieces uh, and only some of them have this so you can sort of jump this guy out and then you can draw that and and then continue again the smaller models don't have a piece that you can separate because then if you separate like uh, the smaller ones what are you going to do like maybe take the gun out of their hand or whatever it's not necessary basically then finally down here the controls you can pan zoom rotate uh, and then you've got an auto mask which by the way is going to be your best friend for something like this now i want to show you how this all works you can do regular painting Okay, and you can you can undo as well. So if I just take like a, a snow cap, that's a white one and I paint over here, you can see I've got this on at the moment. And if I take it off, you can just paint all over it, sort of anywhere you want, right? And then when you put the auto mask back on, then it'll stick to the one piece that you selected the first time around, right? Okay. So it sticks to the single. So if I want to paint just the this wing over here, I start painting on it. It just paints that wing, all right? Very, very cool. Probably going to be your best friend when you paint in the minis in here. And then, along with that, you get to choose different ways of painting. This is just regular paint. Then you get to do the different colors. This is a wash, which is sort of like a... You sort of splash in the color on there. You're not, you're not painting it on fully. A dry brush, it's a different texture on it. An airbrush, that's sort of like a spray paint you could call it a stipple, which is like dots. And then there will be decals that you can use. You'll see some of them in the season pass. I'm sure that there'll be some in the store and stuff like that. And you unlock some of them by playing the game, right? So those are the different methods that you have of doing it. Then on top of that, you will also see there are different paint and paint styles to unlock. There are metallic paints to unlock. Uh, there are glossy paints to unlock. There are different versions of this regular paint that will enhance your painting entirely and on this model right here as an example all of this extra stuff here it's painted on it's not part of the model right so so someone actually did this by hand right so that just again shows how how super cool and detailed this all is now i was talking about the auto mask and how it would be your best friend uh, you can move around here and you can sort of zoom in all the way but let me give you an example of of how you can sort of customize this very minimally to make it your own so if i select a really cool color let's take a spirit green right and then i put auto mask on i set my opacity to max then i i jump onto these little like lightning bolts here and i color them in with this color this sort of entirely changes the way this model looks. It, it makes sort of a big impact. You can immediately see uh, what's been changed and what's not default anymore. And it's kind of difficult to, if I'm being real here, mess up, right? So you've already changed the way this looks quite a lot now. Now, you know, you might take it a step further and you could say, let's say we want to make this a different version of the green. Now you, you can throw the green on the color mix over here then you can think to yourself now what do i want to combine with that to do with the smoke here let's take a 
sort of paler green and we mix it with that. All right. You mix it in there, it changes the shade of the green. Not by much, but by a little bit. Now you think to yourself, eh, okay, let's 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 give it a, a little bit of blue in there too. All right. You give it a little bit of blue. You mix that in there and then you click and, and, and mix. Because it didn't change quite enough before. And then you think, yeah, that's a good one. So then you just hold Alt, you select that color, you can add it to your own custom palette over here. There you go. That's your color. Now, you can just toss this on the smoke at the bottom here, and you can make something of your own. Then, obviously, I'm just adding a, like a solid color to this, and I'm not sort of doing it properly on all the sides and stuff. You'll see that you'll want to do that. Uh, but again, for the purposes of the video, I'll just keep it like this, so we don't have to see the, uh, <laughs> the glaring mistakes I'm making. So we throw that on there. But, but now you think, oh man, geez, uh, it doesn't have quite as much personality as it had before. So then that's where you start with like the fine tuning, right? So you'll, you'll jump in here, you'll set the opacity down a little bit. And if I'm being real with you, this might be where you'd need a tablet or something like that. Then you can start accenting it a little bit. Uh, you can throw a little bit in here to sort of uh, mix it up. I want to throw a disclaimer out there quickly and say I'm not an artist, okay? <laughs> Was that, wait, 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 wait. wait. Was that, was that uh, not clear from the start? Okay, so I'm, I'm not an artist. I'm just showing you quickly and briefly the kind of stuff that you could do, right? So you, you mix that up a lot. You look at it, you think to yourself, that's already quite a lot better. But there could still be more that you'd want to do, you know? There could still be more. You could still want to uh, throw a stipple on there, uh, maybe a snow cap stipple. You turn the opacity back up a little bit. Uh, sorry, the size up, the opacity up. It's still on auto mask, by the way. And then we'll throw this on there. Eh, it's a little bit big. We'll make it smaller. Throw that on there. It gives it a bit of a texture. Now it looks like some more other weird green alien goop. But you've changed it up quite a lot. And you didn't step too far outside the comfort zone. That's an example of what you can do. Another quick example would be if you wanted to zoom like literally all the way in here on this guy's face. And this is the last example I'm going to give. You can, once again, turn the auto mask on. Uh, you go in with a green theme, right? So we turn the opacity up. We color the inside of his eye fully green. Okay. That changes it up. You don't like his teeth that color? Well, no worries. Let's make them red. I want stipple, aren't I? There we go. Much better. Much better. Okay. So it's a flat color. Yeah. But you're changing it quickly and easily. Uh, ooh, oh, man. You know, uh, this guy's... The nails, they look stupid, man. I want them black. Black is just much more menacing. It's a cooler color. See how nicely the uh, auto mask locks to the, to the nails specifically. And in that way, you customize every little bit the way you want it. Hey, these handles aren't popping enough. I think they'd look better as like an orangey color. Uh, let's let them pop a little bit. You just do the handles. Uh, okay, well, to be honest, I would probably rather stick to... Here's where you need to be a little bit more finessey, but I'd rather just make that that color, and I think that would just be a straight improvement. Then you do it in between here as well. Let's just do the top piece as well. And voila! Fantastic! So that's how you can customize it. Again, I'm not an artist. I'm sorry. It might not be the best show in here. Uh, you know, you want to you wanna draw a smiley face on the hood. Uh, you make it a little smaller. You drew this smart well it's currently on this so let's do this you draw it a little smaller uh, boom 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 perfect then if you want to do it yourself and you want to change things up entirely uh, then you can scrap this theme that i just made and you can say new scheme you say discard then you're presented with this version of it and with this once again it's still segmented so you can like you can sort of it's separated into parts so you can still use your auto mask if you want to uh, you can sort of pick between the colors let's say we want this to be a, a shadowy color we want this to be completely black dark and then the inside we want it to be red because that will that will give it a nice contrast and that's actually quite nice because it's actually sticking on all the different accents that's amazing uh, this is like, that's really cool. Isn't that really cool? I think that's fantastic. You take it even bigger so that you can sort of just click here and, and then swing it around everywhere. That's sick. Now, I'm, I'm assuming that these specifically are also going to be linked up. And this will be how you customize the look and feel 
of pretty much everything. So there you go. Like, that's a fantastic start. You got the black here still, so you're going to work on the sides. Then, you think, hmm, well, you know, let's start with the body. Let's see what we're going to do with the body. This guy looks like he wants a little pink in his life. So we're going to go for a pink on this to start with the base. And the nice thing is, I'm holding left click in right now, and then I'm right clicking at the same time, and it turns effortlessly. Like, it, it doesn't restrict you in any way like that. Uh, and then, you know, that pink is great, uh, but I think I'd like to make a slightly redder version of the pink to throw on the booster at the back here. So you'd mix it, mix it, mix it. We'll take this one. Uh, we'll we'll throw it into a new palette over there, and then we'll we'll toss it on the back here. You know, so it, it it's just such a versatile system. I think that the only thing that's missing from this right now is a way to upload this onto a website or into a system and then have people vote for the best one. So if they can somehow make a community collection of these, I will be in heaven playing something like this. You know, I saw it recently in something like Tower of Fantasy where people customized their characters, uploaded them, uh, Saints Row, their character creator had something like that. If they could allow people to customize these, save them and throw them up on a sort of, uh, not a store, but on a, on a platform that people could just get them from, that would be great. I understand why they might not want to do that because, you know, they might want people to spend actual money on, on cool skins and then the artists might outdo the artists on the game itself. But hey, that's the way of the world, man. If you let people just be free, they might actually be happier. It, it's, it's something that might be a win for you long term. So if you decide you want to make the alien skin yellow, you make the alien skin yellow and it looks fantastic. Uh, you know, he, he might not look quite as good just yet with that. So you want to throw some stipples on there. Let's do a blue stipple, but only at half opacity. Uh, we want to maybe make it full opacity, but smaller. You know, basically, you can just do whatever you want here. And then the creative people of the world, they will band together and, and, and make something fantastic out of it. So there you go. That's the way the painting works in this. And again, I, I am in love with this system. I think it's awesome. It, it gives you so, 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 so much flexibility. Uh, and yeah, I mean, you can make some scuffed nonsense like this and you can jump into the game and then other people will see you using it. And that's awesome too, you know? <laughs> More power to you. You do what you want, man. It can look like a five-year-old colored it. Who cares? Make it your own. You can even customize and paint the captains, which is just amazing. It's amazing. Now, I want to also just once again, uh, as an example on this, uh, show you how good these artists are check this out like look at that look how nicely they colored this the amount of detail that went into this all the shading and stuff here was hand drawn it's not automatically just popped on there hand drawn it's super cool so every single model you can bring it in here you can customize it to your heart's content then you can take nice screenshots for it uh, you can sort of uh, you know pop that up wherever you want so people can see it and and hey you can be happy with it I love it. I think it's an awesome system. And that's going to bring me to the end of the uh, painting mode preview. I love it. I, I can't say enough good about it. And, uh, you know, for people who like sort of miniature painting but don't want to throw themselves into that world because of how much it costs, this might be a great alternative. You know? I like it a lot. And again, I mentioned that you can get the units pretty quickly. You can get them, like, I want to say super quickly. You can play just for a little bit and you'll probably unlock most of them. Now, with that done, I want to show you guys, give you a quick preview of the style of the lore recordings that they threw in here. I think this is one of the coolest things that they've done with this game. And I think they also need to bring it to the forefront a little bit. They need to basically show people this much more prevalently because it's huge. It's, it's really, really cool. It's like the graphic audio books that are out there. Brandon Sanderson actually has some graphic audio books, but it's a full recording. This one is season one, episode one, Exterior Story, right? And this is just the first one that they've released. It's a full story and a full recording that you get to listen to that's fully acted out as well. So I'm now one minute 24 in, right? I skipped a little bit in so you could just hear it. Way across the moon by now, but how could Granny disappear? She could barely walk. Don't fret for me, dear. I was only gathering some valuables. Oh, thank the light. 
Mother, I thought you'd gotten lost somewhere. You have the money? No, dear, I said the valuables, the stories. Life preserve us, am I the only sensible brain in this family? I can go and get the... No, 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 there's no time now. Just get down in the cellar with Pupin, huh? And I'll go look for Tochi. He's in the fields. He climbed up a... Eh, Pupin, catch these books. He climbed up a chain to a planter bag. I think he's... Go so, it's a fully acted out story. It gives you a nice look at some of the backstory, some of the world, some of the characters. And it really goes on. It really goes on. And you can also skip through it. I'll Maybe I'll find some action here. We're still trading fire with the ship. Do not let it take off. I must find the butcher before he leaves this moon. What are you gonna do? Something I am very good at. <laughs> well, that's not terrifying at all. Do not let them take off. Exterior out. Gravitic signature detected. Following trail. That's amazing. Right? It's amazing. For someone that likes sort of deep diving into the lore of games, it is such a convenient way to have it delivered to you. And then they're going to release new ones like this constantly, I assume, that will give you more and more lore for the game. So yeah, super cool. Super, super, super cool. Next up, we have the profile pictures. This is a pretty simple and quick part of the video. I'm just going to show you what's available here. Uh, it's just this stuff you will sort of unlock as you keep playing you can see here you get uh, crankbait mastery to level 3 to unlock uh, amplifier bit hole mastery to level 3 and so on and so forth most of them are mastery level 3 and it'll unlock all of these for you and it's just the profile picture up here at the start when you jump in you only have these ones to choose from they're fine they're okay but you can once again sort of just rip your favorite character here and it can look pretty cool yeah it's kind of nice. Here's a quick look at them. If you want to sort of take a longer, harder look, then just pause the video quickly and have a peek at them. But it's just another small and interesting way to customize uh, yourself where this is concerned. You also have a player level by right here, which is, I think it's a combination of your unit mastery experience, basically. So that's, that's pretty cool. Now, that's most of the cosmetic stuff out of the way. Uh, we're going to jump into the season track in just a minute, which actually has a lot of extra cosmetic stuff in. But I'm going to start at the top first, and I'll just show you what the game modes look like. I know this is a little bit of back and forth, but again, the timestamps would have helped if you wanted to jump between stuff. The game modes, uh, there's a player versus player mode. Uh, so choose the roster to compete against another player, earn season track and unit mastery experience for each match. Then you can play versus AI, and it's the same thing, I assume, just versus AI, but probably a bit less experience. And then there's cargo run. Uh, with this, you spend a contract to battle five randomized bosses of increasing difficulty. You earn more season track experience and blanks the further you get. Uh, and that seems pretty cool. Hmm. That seems like a pretty fun way of, of sort of getting more rewards. It's a limited mode in that you need to spend contracts to jump in, but you get contracts from the store every single day. Uh, and then you can also buy the contracts with blanks which you earn through play so it's not actually paywalling it it's just sort of gaming it a little bit making it into a mechanic uh, you get this every day you get a cargo run contract and you can buy as many as you want here with the let's call this i think this is the real money one the pulsars are real money uh, blanks are in-game currency this is in-game currency and the boosters are booster packs which we'll look at once we look at the store which is going to be in just a moment right so well once we properly look at the store so the game modes, once again, they have two regular modes and then the one that, that allows you to sort of get extra experience that's slightly more limited, right? Now, uh, the play modes here and stuff like that, uh, you, if you don't quite know what's going on, there's also a hefty tutorial up at the top here. It has full video tutorials for basically everything. I'm going to show you a quick example of how the tutorials look. From the collect and paint screen, click a unit then click the paint button. Here you'll see the default paint job. You can create a new paint job by clicking the plus icon or modify an existing one with the duplicate button. You get the idea. They've got that for basically everything in the game. It's well thought up, like they've put it together very nicely. Uh, and and they, they're pretty brief as well, so you don't have to spend too much time jumping into that and, and staring at it. Next up, we're going to look at the store. 
the in-game store. This is where you'll purchase stuff with real money. Uh, if you want to buy pulsars, they're over here. I don't know what the like local currency. This is our South African rands, right? So I I could not tell you what this converts to into dollars. Like uh, 30 rand, that's the equivalent of like one and a half dollars for 75. Uh, 60 rand, it's about three dollars, about, you know, uh, and and the same for these. So I can't really tell you exactly what it'll cost for you because for us it might be cheaper because our currency is worth way less. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. But those are what you'd use to buy a lot of the stuff in here. You can buy booster packs, 230, well, 300 for 10 boosters. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Or you can buy one over here. And if you buy one, you can actually use the blanks to buy it, right? So that's pretty much all they have on there right now, along with different deals for the boosters. And then along with the three captains that are currently in the game. They gave me all three captains. I don't know if they give them to everyone who jumps into the game. But that's that's basically all I've seen of the store so far. It doesn't look too predatory or anything like that. I mean, there's barely anything here. So, I don't know. I don't know. I guess make of it what you will. Boosters, they look like this. They have a cute little animation. They pop open. And you get some goodies. If you get a duplicate like this one, they disenchant it for you and you get merits for it. And there you go. Sometimes you will get sort of upgraded versions of these. I got the Aegis Defense Dome now, common. Uh, Broken Vengeance, common. And then you can sort of jump into your collection over here. And you can have a look. See, this guy, he was unowned a moment ago. And I just unlocked him in a booster. You could have also unlocked him from unowned. He was over here. I know he was the first one. You could have also unlocked them here by just hiring them with the merits that you get scrap of. Super easy. Again, does not seem predatory. I've seen a lot of people complaining about and bringing up the pay-to-winness of this game and the amount that you have to spend on it. I really haven't seen that, I'm sorry to say. I'll open these other boosters so you guys can see quickly what it looks like and sort of the type of stuff you get in them. It seems cool to me. It seems cool. Oh, you see? I just got a rarity upgrade to epic on this one. That's pretty sick. You can upgrade the rarity yourself and you can downgrade it again. Uh, I got this one unlocked, Shrapnel, she was also locked, and then I got some uh, extra merits over here, which is just amazing. I'll take that. Duplicate, duplicate. If they had to add duplicate protection to this game, I do feel like you'd probably have a lot of really happy players as well, sort of like Hearthstone and, and Overwatch does it. They don't have entire duplicate protection, but they have at least somewhat something in there that can sort of help you out. Here we got three new ones. Cool. There you go. That's how the boosters look. So, all in all, the store looks okay to me. Again, uh, this is from my limited experience. I don't exactly know. Huh. Again, make of it what you will. We're going to jump into the season track now. What I like about this is that it seems to be free. It's just there. The, the season track is free. It is a very lengthy season. It, it was 120 days in total. That's amazing. You know, that's that's like a, a full four months that you have to complete this. And you don't pay for it. There's no free track, no premium track. I like that. You just jump in, you do it for this season, you get the rewards. Now we're going to have a look at the kinds of rewards that you get for this. There's a profile picture. This is a crest for your roster. You get some blanks. Again, that's like on level 3, you just get 500 blanks. You can buy 5 boosters with that. Or you can buy some other stuff from the... Uh, I think you can also buy the uh, cargo run tickets. Just like that. Uh, here's a decal pack. Which is really cool. Now, I want to just point out that you could probably draw all of these decals yourself. If you were very artsy. There's a good chance that you could draw all of this exactly like this. There's a good chance that the people that made this used the same tools that we're using to paint the miniatures. But... This makes it much easier. So there's a decal pack for damage, which is super cool. Uh, there's some booster boxes. Here is a uh, roster banner shape that you get. Then here's what I mentioned during the painting thing. Uh, this is copper non-metallic paints. So it's a bunch of different paints that you can unlock. I like this. I mean, you might you might think to yourself, oh, it kind of sucks that they lock in paints behind, you know, progress. But it's it's a nice way to show off, you know. How, how far you've come and some of the stuff you can actually make yourself as well so yeah here we go it's a roster banner pattern another shape here we get a gloom side florio it's a, a paint scheme 
this is another profile image more boosters a bunch of that's these are like sort of logo decals another banner pattern there's another dead eye paint scheme this is the gloom side one i wonder if they're all going to be gloom side here's 500 more blanks another shape this is the cinder glow it's an aura skin uh, as you can see that's what they look like when they come in and that's the increased sort of visual effect for the rarity of the cosmetics the legendary one obviously looks way cooler as you can see we got some more paints these are methador paints it's mostly the colors that you're looking at here's the gloom side exterior amy profile picture booster boxes decal pack cholek ones cholek paints it's the lightning crash super cool that looks nice the legendary one looks fantastic it's like thor landing on the battlefield uh, even more blanks banner pattern shape crest that looks sick see this is a different color this is almost like i was doing except i did green but uh different colors looks very very nice i really like it it seems like gloomside is the theme that they went with for this season and that's uh amazing more decals another banner pattern even more decals so once you unlock a few of these things you're gonna have so much more freedom to sort of you know customize there yeah, that's nice man the smuggler paints that's a super nice bright yellow again you could probably make that bright yellow if you just combine a couple of paints you know clawed banner shape boxes that's kind of cool it's like a planet crusher it's called moonfall it, like the, the moon falls and you actually come out of it it's another roster crest blanks profile images banner pattern another gloom side skin that's really really cool that looks completely different entirely different color on that there's a gem decal pack deathbot metallic paints some more blanks and then at the end we have the deathbot exterior skin that's kind of cool right that's kind of cool and that's like that's like a really fancy looking one and and uh if you look at exterior right here just as an example uh, where is he this is not the same you see like that's 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 the death pot death pot version of this it's completely different it's fantastic i think it looks great and that ladies and gentlemen is basically that i've i've covered it all i am personally quite fond of what i've seen here i think that they have a decent selection of of like goodies in here to let's just say enthuse the miniature fans out there the uh tactics games fans the strategy players it seems like it's pretty cool i can't talk about the gameplay all that much right now but if you'd like to contribute to this video you can you can leave a comment down below and that can be your legacy you can sort of tell people about what's going on here you can be involved and i love it when you guys get involved tell people what to expect from the gameplay whether it's fantastic whether it sucks balls you can be the one to inform people the comment will get upvoted if it's good probably downvoted if it's bad uh, but you get to you get to contribute and participate and i love it when you do so with that said you can check back here soon for more videos please leave those comments share it do all that good stuff i will be checking moonbreak out for myself to see how the gameplay feels uh, i I'm, I'm pretty keen and excited to do that i'm probably going to spend a bit of time doing some of the miniature painting as well just to see if i can like you know make my favorites look nice and all that but hey let me know what you guys think once again and again check back here soon for more happy that